in the shadow of the mountain, or Kakat Alangui, six Greenlandic youths go to the Greenlandic wilderness to celebrate the graduation of the four of them, but then they start seeing signs of a of a Kevitok, a mountain walker, a the the spirit of a dead hermit that takes revenge on those that wronged him. Now, this is the rare Greenlandic film, but it makes the very wise decision to be a slasher movie, because slasher movies, they don't have to come out of America for us to be able to enjoy them. I know at least one Norwegian one, 22, although that one's... I remember it as being pretty bad, but nevertheless, you can watch it even if you're not Norwegian. I know we Danes have made at least two, you know, Final Hours and Backstabbed. Backstabbed isn't all that good, but Final Hours is really, really good. And yeah, this movie is amazing. The The only real problems are that it's maybe a little too long. It's, it's around two hours and it should really only have been 90 minutes that it, you know, it falls into the, you know, the, the holes that, that often are problems for slasher movies, and ultimately it doesn't really go as deep into the legend as it could have. They might have been worried that it would turn people off, because it is an old legend. There aren't necessarily that many you know, people, especially youths, even in Greenland, who still believe this myth or legend, but it is a really compelling one. But the movie is still incredibly scary, incredibly tense. You care about every single character, even though some of them are, you know, some of them can be a little annoying, but they're never they're never inherently unlikable, and it also helps that, you know, the 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 one who can get the most annoying, he's called out on it. He, there's he's he's he kind of wants to get with this other girl, with with this girl, and she just she's having none of his BS. Like she's like, do you ever stop talking? That's stupid. You're stupid. You know, just there's there's no. You know, and that that's really that's the the thing that gets annoying when you have obnoxious characters when they just get to be obnoxious. the The moment that you have a character who's like, "Stop doing that. This is annoying." It yeah, that helps a lot. the The production values are incredible. This really feels like if if you ignore the language spoken, this feels like it was made by Hollywood people. The you know everyone working on this have clearly studied how you know it, for one thing you know filmmaking, but also the 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 shorthand that Hollywood uses and kind of you know when when you watch movies from countries that are very you know Greenlandic and American culture are incredibly different in in a lot of ways so you would expect a Greenlandic film to also be very different but here they made the choice you know to make it more accessible to everyone they made it yeah to to resemble a Hollywood movie. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.